Hey everybody, Terry White here, and I've got some big news for my fellow Lightroom users. This is so big, I'm just gonna not even try and explain it. Let's dive in and take a look. So I'm in Lightroom, and I'm in Lightroom with all my photos and videos backed up and synced to the cloud, available on all my devices. I'm in my favorite part of Lightroom, which is the organization. All my folders, my albums, my drone footage, everything that I've shot that I hold near and dear to my heart. That's why I sync it to Lightroom and have it backed up. However, we've heard loud and clear that you want something else. You want a choice. So you'll notice now for the first time in Lightroom, at the top, there's two tabs. There's cloud, which is the way Lightroom has worked for years that you know and love. You can add photos and videos, sync them, back them up, edit them, export them, all of that. That hasn't changed. But you now have a new tab called local. When I click on local, this is your local storage. This is your system. This is essentially a file browser into your system. So you'll notice that I have my NAS connected, my server, my T-White volume. I've got all my drives connected. They're all here. I see my operating systems desktop, which has got a couple images on it and a bunch of folders. And I have a shoot that I copied over to my desktop for my New York City photos and videos. And when I click on it, I instantly see them. I see all my photos and videos right here on my local storage. So I did not have to add these in the Lightroom. I just point at Lightroom to this folder and it sees them. So I can even start doing metadata changes. So for example, if I like this one, I can make it a five star, I can make it a pick, I can make it a reject. I can do all the things I would normally do in Lightroom. I can double click on it and see it large. I can play it back, scrub through it, it's a video. This all works locally and this is great. Now when I go back, I can scroll through and I can see my raw files. And more importantly, I can click on an image and I can double click on an image and instantly render it and see it and also be able to edit it. That's right. So I can do all the things I normally do, such as choose a profile, such as camera vivid. I can hit auto tone. I can grab my crop tool because it looks a little crooked to me. Eh, maybe about right there, great. I can continue editing and maybe brighten it up a little bit more. I can bring out the shadow detail on the right a little bit more. I can even go into my presets and use the adapter presets such as Blue Drama for the Sky, one of my favorites. I can pull that back a little bit for this particular photo and I can do all the non-destructive editing that I've always done in Lightroom. The best part is when I've done all my edits, if I like it, I can just go ahead and simply share it out, never having to add it to the Lightroom Cloud. It works the same way if it had been in Lightroom Cloud, including all the metadata changes I've made are now stored locally. So I can always come back to this photo, but let's say out of your 500 photos and videos that you did your shoot with, there are maybe 10 or 15 you did edit and you really like, they're your favorites. Well, at any given time, you can copy a photo or video or several photos and videos, if you select them all, and copy them to the cloud. So now this one is being synced and backed up. If I make further changes to it locally, I'll have an option that says update the edits to the cloud. So I have a cloud copy that has any edits I've done thus far. I have the local copy that's still on my drive that I can do anything else I wanna do with. And speaking of your drive, you can do organization here as well. So for example, if I go back to this folder and I want to use a little menu here and I can say, create a folder inside my photos and video, my New York photos and videos. So how about NYC Faves? And if I create that folder inside the New York folder, there it is. And you, you may be thinking, well, is it really there? Well, let's go ahead and show it in the operating system. And there it is, it's in that same area. And of course it's empty right now. So if I open it up, there's nothing in it. But if I go back to my regular photos and videos, the ones I've been working with, and I say, hey, this one that I just worked on, uh, is a favorite, I can drag it and move it into that folder because I'm doing local file management. So if I go back to it now, I see it in there. And if I say show it in the finder, there it is. And if I twirl it down, there's the image, including its metadata changes, all there. So you have the choice of working locally without ever having to sync things to the cloud, or you can sync certain ones to the cloud, therefore freeing up space 
in the cloud for the ones that you say, hey, I'm never even going to use these. Why store them and back them up to Adobe's cloud? I can store them and back them up locally. You can also work offline. So if you don't have an internet connection and you want to just immediately plug your card in, copy the photos and videos to your drive and just start editing, now it's that much easier. You don't ever have to wait for it to sync. It's all local. And if you choose to have things sync, you can. It's truly the best of both worlds. You decide what's in the cloud. You decide what stays local. You decide if you want them in both places and you decide which edits you want sync to the cloud and which ones you don't. That's it, folks. Enjoy. It's a big one, but I think you're going to love it. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.